hello welcome to my channel once again today it is one of the biggest actors from nigeria who came to ghana and he decided to talk about ghana you see and everything that he was saying was you know he's mature he's old so he knows a lot and this man is one of the most respectable i would say actors that we have in nigeria pete idochi and he said a lot a lot of things about ghana i don't want to talk much let's go into the video and listen to him then when we come back we talk about it the reason why most performers from outside africa don't come to africa is because they don't get encouraged i can tell you that because i trained in the bbc and i know what i'm talking about listen i am going to talk about the glory that was ghana that is ghana that will continue to be ghana this continent has produced Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. This continent produced Dr. Nam Azikiwe. This continent produced the man from Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta. This country produced Nelson Mandela. Look, Africa has made its contribution to the entire world, and I can tell you that. If you want to assess a people, and their contributions to the world you think about their culture culture is eclectic culture is dynamic and because of the impact of culture on the minds of people Ghana registered an indelible impression on the minds of the entire African people on the continent first of all let's talk about Ghanaian music there was a guy called E.T. Mensah he began it all. He gave us day by day, and then Africa, the home of freedom. Ghana, the land of freedom. Then after E.T. Mensah, we have the Black Beats of Ghana, led by King Bruce. We have the Broadway Dance Band with Joss Akins. We have the Rambler Dance Band with Jerry Hansen. We have the African Brothers with Ampadu. Then of course came the Guitar Band Series, C.K. Man. E. K. Nyame, because there were so many of them. And all this music originated from Ghana. Why? In Nigeria, the genre, the popular genre music is high life. Where did high life come from? Ghana. This is where it originated. And this is why, whenever you play high life, you cannot forget to mention that this is the home of high life. Sitting down here and looking at the young men and women performing, I tell you the truth, I've been carried away. I wish I were as light as Pat Thomas, I would have been dancing here, you know? You know, Ghana became independent in 1957. Until then, so many countries on the continent of Africa were not independent. There was a football competition that was organized in 1957 between Ghana and Nigeria. It was called the Jalco Cup competition. I don't ever recall that experience with nostalgia, but with plenty of melancholy. Why? Because Ghana beat us by seven goals to nothing. Now, when we come to the field of sports, the first Ghanaian boxer to become a British Empire featherweight champion was somebody called Roy Ankara. You don't know that on the continent of africa i want you to listen properly roy ankara from here became the first british empire featherweight champion but we got the world champion before you then you started producing them we got the first world featherweight boxing champion hogan king Bossy, nigeria first world midweight boxing champion dean tiger from nigeria then we paused then you took over. You got Aikote, you got Azuma Zoom Zoom Nelson, and then the young man behind us. It will be difficult for you to see any country on the continent of Africa that has impressed the world. I mean, like Ghana. When you beat us by seven goals to nothing, I remember some of the names that inflicted that humiliation on us. I remember Agrifin, center forward, Wilberforce Mfum, Goal, center half Charles Gayanfi, captain, outside right Babayara, outside left Salisu, left full back Oblite, 
right through back Adamity. So you see, this man has the history of Ghana in his palm. He has the history of Ghana in his palm because when you listen to what he said, he's starting from even the first ever musician that Africa produced was Ghana. The first ever boxes that were produced in Africa were from Ghana. Although he said they actually, we produced the first, but they won certain medals before us. See, Ghana and Nigeria has come a very, very a, a long way. You know, if you remember or if you've heard, Enam Diazikwe, who helped Nigerians to gain their independence, like the way Kwame Nkrumah also did for Ghana. Enam Diazikwe was a journalist, and he was in Ghana by then, before our independence. See, when you talk about Ghana and Nigeria, just just look at it, the history, because. I learned when Ghana gained its independence, a lot of Africans trooped to Ghana. A lot of Africans. And, and if you are aware, Nigerians were like the most. Because at that time, they still had the numbers. If let's say Ghana was like 6 million, I'm sure around that time, Nigeria would have been 20, 30 million thereabout. You see, so they had a lot of people and they just came to Ghana. So during the independence day definitely there were a lot of nigerians in ghana at that time and as you know ghana and nigeria it has been like that since to date this man knows history this man knows a lot and most of the things that he said to be honest with you i was not born i respect him so much and i know a lot of people also do peter Deci is one man that doesn't talk much but when he speaks it's very loud it's very 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 loud and i'm sure some of you who are like gen z's have actually learned something from the history that he gave us he said ghana is glorious ghana has been glorious like has had its glory days and currently ghana is glorious and ghana is going to be glorious in the future too that's the kind of man you know that's why sometimes I say some of these banters that we have on social media is just for fun. It's just for for clouds and for for crews and all all these things. But the bond between Ghana and Nigeria is so strong. And for me, I'm not sure anything is going to cause. It's been there since generations upon generations, and people have been born, come, they've experienced this. And they are also like they've also joined the crews and we are just having fun with these things that we do on especially on social media we are just having fun and i'm one person that sometimes or many a times i really enjoy some of these things i just laugh it makes me laugh a lot because ghana and nigeria all the time charlie it's like fire on social media yes thank you thank you so much for watching thank you